Hey again guys! Um, so in the last video I showed you how to cut um, cardboard to create your Collagraph printing plate. My flower is still drying and I just tried um, drawing on the cardboard with just glue. I didn't cut out any pieces with cardboard just as an experiment to see how it would come out. So I'm going to set these two to the side to dry and I'm going to get the one that I made earlier. So, with this um, collagraph, you are going to use your black crayon and a piece of paper. Now, you can use regular notebook paper or printer paper, construction paper, whatever you have available at your house. I happen <clears throat> to have some just plain white printer paper, <clears throat> so I'm going to use that. What I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to fold this paper in half just so it's a little bit easier for me to um, hold on to. Um, and I also think I might make this a card and send to um, maybe a friend or family member or teacher that um, I'm missing and not able to see at this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to open it. And I'm going to put my Collagraph printing plate underneath the paper. And what I'm going to do is use the side of the crayon, not the tip, the side of the crayon to rub or color over this. And what's going to happen is the crayon is going to show the places that are the highest on your printing plate. So those areas that we made with cardboard, those areas that we drew on with the glue, and they are going to transfer onto our paper. Just like that. Isn't that neat? Now, you can do multiple prints on one page. I could try this simple abstract one that I did. You could do multiple colored crayons if you like. You could try chalk or markers to see what happens with those mediums. And just experiment and play around with it. So there you go. That's just a really simple, easy art project that you can do at home. I will show you, if you decide to try markers, they do not work quite as well as the crayons because the marker kind of gets in the empty area a little more, but you still can see the outlines and things. Here is an example of what happens with chalk. You get very similar results as the crayons, except for you can smudge it and you can blend it a little bit more. And you can even make um, an art piece by doing that and make the different areas stand out. Also, after you finish doing your outline, you could color this in with markers or you could color it in with crayons or colored pencils. If you have some watercolors or paint at your house, you could paint this in and let it dry and then write a nice note on the inside and give it to someone or mail it to someone you care about. I hope you enjoy this project and you have fun making your prints. If you make them, please send me a picture or upload it to Artsonia um, through the app that you can get or on the website. Alright guys, have fun creating!